Getting your college degree is more vital now than ever before. Whether you're in high school, already in the workforce, or just looking for a new career, there is a university right here in Columbus that can take your education to the next level. I'm joined by Dr. Leslie King, a dean with Franklin University. So thanks for being here, Dr. King. Absolutely, Robin. Glad to be here. So you are the dean of the College of Health and Public Administration. So let's kind of talk with an overview. What kind of areas of study does that cover? Well, the College of Health and Public Administration really addresses kind of human services. We have uh, a BSN in nursing, health information management, healthcare management and administration, and a lot of public administration type of programs. So the university's been around since 1902. We've really focused a lot more on business in the past. And about three years ago, we started the College of Health and Public Administration to respond to the needs of the community and of the nation to have a growing need for healthcare workers and leaders. And, and we know that you, you mentioned Nationwide and Columbus has right. that growing need in the areas of healthcare. So locally, what are we seeing the need for? Well, it's uh, one of those interesting changes on the scenery and, and industry where uh, healthcare is growing a lot faster than a lot of the other sectors. And that's partly because of our aging population. I think actually uh, an article that was put out in the paper in the dispatch a few weeks ago, um, Andy Gillingham or Aaron Gillingham from Ohio Health said we need more workers. We're serving more of the aging population and we all know that the baby boomers are reaching the age where they're retiring and when you retire you start to get to where you need more of those services in health care. So we're actually seeing a lot of advanced health care workers leaving the field and then accessing health care services which is kind of a double whammy there for the health care industry. They need more leaders rising up to lead the organizations and we need more patient care professionals serving that aging population as well. So whether they're in patient care now or whether they just want to come into the field, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. And I think Obamacare and a lot of the changes nationwide are driving that as well. And Ohio is uh, very indicative of, of the demand that will continue into the future. And an interesting dynamic, as you yeah. mentioned, even the people coming out of the field working in it are now going to need yeah, the yeah. health care. So, okay, we all know, too, workers in the health care part of with off. How do you kind of cater your programs to the individuals that need to get into that? Well, Franklin kind of has and has had a specialty in serving for a long time. So back in the 1990s, when most universities barely had computers at their, uh, in their schools and in their teaching, uh, Franklin actually got into the online or distance education arena. And over the last 20 years, we've really hone the skills to serve the working professional. We specialize in how we've designed the courses to fit the working professional and I think very unique. Or what I was impressed with when I came to Franklin was, it's not just online classes where you read something, but they're actually, the students are charged with engaging in online work and then they're told to go into their workplaces and complete assignments. So it's very relevant to the working professional and to those organizations. And I think that's something that has kind of grown out of the specialty that we um, have um, kind of in-house developed with PhD designers and online education. I think for healthcare workers in particular that really works because they're working first shift, second, third, holidays are really non-existent in healthcare. Yep. <laughs> so we really cater to that, um, especially in the College of Health and Public Administration, knowing that we have a lot of professionals who are sensitive to those needs. So. It definitely works, giving them the flexibility and yeah. all that they need. So let's tell people where they can learn more about Franklin's health care programs and Franklin in general. Okay, absolutely. Well, at franklin.edu, uh, students can come and find out more about the, the university. They can find out about the college. They can find out about all of our health care and public administration programs. And what I would say probably more importantly than that would be students can come there or potential students can come there and learn about themselves. We have a tool called My Transfer Tool where whether you're going to come to Franklin or whether you're not, you can come and you can plug in. I want to take this degree. I have these credits or I have these transfers and it'll tell them this is your, your trajectory and your cost for the next couple years of what you want to do with your life. And so I would invite anyone to come to franklin.edu, look at the My Franklin Transfer Tool and find out what does the future look like for them. Um, as far as being in school the next couple of years, the kind of classes, what their transfers will be like, and they can find out about our programs and they can find out about who they are and what their uh, you know, potential plan would be to uh, have a new job or a new career. All right, you make it easy, and thank you so much for bringing that to us today. Absolutely, thank you, Robin.